Hey good people, it is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today, finally, with my fall haul. When I tell you the devil has been busy out here, girl, I ordered some of these pieces like over a month ago and they are finally all here in my possession in one place. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead, try them on, style them up, let y'all know what I got. And these are about the six, seven pieces, it's not a huge haul, that are going to make their way into my capsule wardrobe for the season. If you are not familiar, I will link my latest capsule wardrobe video down below. Because as y'all know, I don't do a lot of shopping throughout the year. I try really hard to declutter first and then to shop with intention. That is a process that I lay out in my newest ebook, How to Declutter and to Curate a Style That You Love. But in today's video, we're gonna talk about, again, what is new in, I got some affordable, I got some luxury. Girl, if that sounds good to you, just keep watching. All right, per usual, you all know I love to share my OOTD. I'm actually going to show you what I'm wearing in a cutaway because these jeans are new in. But for now, just know that on my wrist, I have um, a simple stack. It is my Cartier Just Unclue, my Hermes Click Clack, Free Maiden Thick Philly John Cuff, okay? On this wrist is the Fossil um, Google Watch, I think is what it's called. Let me just turn it on so it's upside down, I know. But I actually want to do a review of this watch because it has been one of the best pieces of technology I have ever had, I promise you. Um, in my ears, I almost forgot. We got two pair of bobble bar kind of thick huggy earrings. This back one is made well. Um, same earrings on both sides. The necklace is new. This was a gift from Unre that is from Tiffany. It's just a simple um, key pendant on a chain. And as you can see, there are diamonds in the top of the pendant. And I am wearing my daily sleeper top. This has matching um, pajama pants or matching pants to go along with it. It is a pajama set. But you know, when I just want to feel a little fancy, a little fly, I tend to gravitate towards this top because it just makes me feel very, I don't know, chic, even when I'm wearing jeans. I feel like it's like a fashion girl's type of look. You know what I mean? So that is today's OOTD. All right, girl. I have a stack here um, because I really wanted to focus on including accessories, okay? So these are the luxury pieces from the haul. I think these are all the luxury pieces from the haul. I don't remember, but you about to find out very soon, okay? So one thing I want to share with y'all is um, if you are paying full price for luxury across the board, you're playing yourself. I, at times, obviously, there are pieces that you love, that are new in, that are runway collections. You, it, it's just impossible, right? If you are a fashion lover and collector, of course you're going to support a brand that you love. It's kind of collecting art by paying full price. But there are other times, and I talk about this so much, y'all, that I want you to be looking on the secondhand market. But more importantly, I want you to be calling up them call showing my age, calling up them outlets, girl. And that is what I did in the case of this Bottega Veneta piece. I actually have two pieces from um, outlets, okay? And these are, let me actually show you this, a pair of sunnies, okay? So they came in this leather case which I was so shocked by. Um, Y'all know that I worked in luxury retail. We definitely did not give people a lined leather case to put their sunglasses in. <laughs> With a cleaning cloth. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet. Okay, they came in the box that you all just saw. And then here are the sunnies. Girl. And then it's the small details, right? Look at that small. Do you see these? Do. Now, here's what you can't see. It just be the small girl. Right at the top is Bottega Veneta. And it's kind of like embossed or etched into the acrylic of the sunglasses. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see these 
sunglasses. Now, I shared with y'all in my video that's all about the accessories that you are forgetting that I actually don't have a lot of sunglasses and it was a category that I wanted to enhance and so this pair definitely for me was like an intentional investment right I want like a pair of stunner shades something that I can go to easily that I know even even if I'm wearing a very plain outfit are gonna give it just like a lot of edge and sophistication and I feel like my mirrors here these are it girl I mean, they, they kind of are giving Robocop, but I don't mind. Like, I, I'm, I'm here for it, okay? The all black, as you can see, the lenses are very, very dark. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these online, but once again, I will share with you my essays information. And just to give you an idea of the kind of money that you save when you were shopping at the outlet, the original retail price of these was $415, and I paid $209 for them. Yeah, and no tax because they were shipped from out of state. So I'm absolutely in love with these. I actually was watching a video by Brittany of Pockets and Bows recently when she was talking about the importance of protecting your eyes even in fall, winter. In fact, when it tends to be overcast is when our eyes can be damaged the most because, you know, the pleating ozone layer. So I just say, Sunnies are so, so important, and I'm so happy that I grabbed this pair from Bottega. Next up, we're gonna make an old outlet, girl. Listen, I've been on the outlet ministry. You, you think I won't call an outlet, a store, and be like, um, excuse me, ma'am, do you got, do you got this thing, that thing? Oh, matter of fact, just text me what you got. That's how I got my hands on these, and you may have seen the unboxing on my stories, but if you didn't, girl, here we go. From the Loewe outlet at Woodbury Commons in New York, I was sent a picture, purchased using a secure link online, and shipped this. And we talked about this for one of those luxury fall investments. Do we love them or do we love them? Let me get both pair out so y'all can really see. These shoes are as comfortable as a baby's bottom. And I'm actually surprised. I feel like Loewe's shoes run a little big because they go up to a 42, which I typically always wear in European designers. But these are a 41 and they are just so, so, so comfortable, y'all. They are patent leather, obviously. They have the tassel here and just a little small heel that's in that dark, dark wood. Um, the toe is kind of round, almond shaped. I am just absolutely in love with these shoes. I'm actually styling them up, as you can see, with what I am wearing today, okay? And so these have been, in just the, I don't know, two or three weeks that I've had them, such a great addition to my wardrobe. It is the kind of shoe that you wear when you want to, like, be classy but be comfortable yeah go for the loafers and I'm happy that I finally got a pair um, of fall shoes that aren't boots y'all I don't I don't know why it's taking me this long but if this got to be the first pair of full loafers then I, I, I think I'm winning in life and so just to give you an idea of the price of these I don't know if I have it um, they did send me a beautiful little note which I thought was so nice um, this is probably the authenticity information. These were 280, if I'm not mistaken, and they were down from um, 640. So at least in the case of the Bottega Sunnies and the Loewe shoes, we're typically talking about about 50% off. You're going to save save on retail, and then don't mess around. And them outlets are having a sale. Hit the lick, girl hit the lip. So that is the second item that I got for my fall haul. And then number three, y'all have not seen this at all, even on IG, but you know on IG that I had a little bit of an issue 
with these people <laughs> all right um to their credit uh it was an issue with them not filling out the paperwork or including the paperwork uh via customs and so the item although fedex was saying it had arrived to me was actually shipped back to them um they did give me like a 50 dollar uh, site credit what can you buy from my Teresa for 50 bucks i don't know but you know it's cute I appreciate the customer service. I will give credit where credit is due. We all make mistakes. And uh, the reason I'm going to be a little lenient is because they were the only ones that still had this item in my size. All right. So let's get into it. All right. Now, y'all know I'm having a moment with Loewe. So do I even have to tell you that this is an item from Loewe? What do y'all think it is? Pause the video and guess down below. What do y'all think this item is? I, I've been talking about it so much until like the real, the, the OG tribe already knows what is in here. But it is the Loewe OB belt. I know this looks like nothing as I hold it up. So we'll have the cutaways going so you all can see this beautiful, delicious, magnificent belt. Now, I will say this. This is the kind of piece that you have to have confidence to be able to style. Like You have to have confidence in your styling ability. Let me put it like that. Um, because I still have the tag on it that can't be removed uh, if I want to return it. Because it took me... I don't know 45 minutes just playing around with the different outfits to come up with ways to style it for this video so I kind of feel like while I love it I want to make sure that it's going to really do the thing in my wardrobe that I'm hoping that it does because for this price we're not going to have something that just kind of lingers in the wardrobe um this belt with all of like the customs and the fees and stuff I think that's included in the price that my Teresa ended up being about a thousand dollars with tax and I've always felt like that was incredibly pricey for a belt and I tried really really hard for the past two years to find this on the resale market and I just I couldn't do it <laughs> I couldn't, it, it is what it is. So, once again, sometimes you have to buy things new. And that is the case of the Low Wave Belt. I mean, the good part is that there aren't very many mediums left online. And because the ones that I saw online were almost the same price as full price, I know that if I did decide to keep it and one day sell it, I would likely get a good portion of my money back. But in the meantime, she's mine we gonna stick beside her um but let me know down below what y'all think about the low wave ob belt and then i grabbed one more pair of sunglasses these are not luxury these are by lulu's but i just absolutely loved kind of like that angular cat eye that was also square and so i grabbed these because again i'm just trying to do more with eyewear to really just amplify my style and my outfits while even wearing very basic pieces these are the only pair of sunnies that I have in my collection that are tortoise and so I really really wanted to include some tortoise sunnies but I didn't want to go for a two luxury pair and break the bank. I am definitely a high low type of sunglasses girl like I, I'm just at the point now where I can trust myself not to lose my sunglasses so trust that they do not have to all be high end by any means. Um, and I just love the way that these look. Sometimes I can be a little sensitive around sun, sun, sunglasses and their shape because I don't have a lot of hair and I don't change my hair. I mean, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I might jump out here one day and get a little bit of color, but this is going to be it. We're going to ride this thing until the wheels fall off. And so sometimes I'm like, okay, does that shape work when I'm just giving all face, no hair? And I feel like this silhouette works a lot. And these may have been like 15 bucks from Lulu's. I will make sure that they, as well as everything else I can find, are linked down below. Now let's jump into clothes. I have these shorts. They aren't quite culottes, but they're much shorter than kind of traditional, I'm much longer, I'm sorry, than traditional shorts. So maybe like Bermuda short length. I'm not quite sure, but I did want to go for something a little longer than the ones that I currently have from ASOS. Plus, girl, the belt loop has popped on those. We, we got our money out of those. 
So we decided for this pair to go at a little bit more of a higher quality. These are by Aritzia, specifically from the Wilford brand. I got them in a size 6 and just for reference, everything that I am wearing is either a medium or a size 6. These things are as soft as butter. As soft as a baby's bottom. Okay, you... If you had your eyes closed, you would think that these were genuine leather. I'm not, I'm not capping. I'm, I'm so serious. Like Aritzia just knows what they're doing when it comes down to faux leather. And I am interested to see how I'm going to style this length, especially this time of year. I think wearing them with the knee boots makes perfect sense. I just don't know how I feel with wearing something long up top and then wearing um, maybe like a flat or a Chelsea boot. I'm not sure that that silhouette works, but with a knee boot, they definitely, definitely do the daggone thing. I'm even thinking with a pair of tights with a knee boot, these could be really, really cute. So I'm happy that I grabbed these. They were 99 bucks once again from a Aritzia. Next up is a two-piece set from Lulu's. I don't have a lot from Lulu's, y'all. Um, but I like Lulu's Nasty Gal brands like that for pieces that are more comfortable, that are great like work from home items. I have a lot of loungewear, for example, from Nasty Gal. And Lulu's reminds me of Nasty Gal in that way that it's not going to break the bank, but if you are really intentional, you can find things that are good quality. And so this is a two-piece set. It was a little pricey for Lulu's. I think I may have paid $80 for this, although that sounds excessive. I'm not sure, but I'll make sure I link it down below. Um, but I also felt like maybe it, the price wasn't excessive because it's a two-in-one, right? And so the cardigan can be worn by itself and so can the dress. I even think the dress worn with the Loewe Obi belt is going to be a really, really cute look with a pair of sandals as the weather begins to warm up, maybe sometime in spring or if we're traveling. This is so, so soft. It is a cotton material, a cotton blend, I believe. Um, I am a little nervous about washing it because I don't want the fabric to peel. And so I may either put it on the gentle cycle, hand wash it, or just dry clean it. But nevertheless, I've worn this too many times to count since I got it, y'all. When I tell you, it looks, it just, it looks so sophisticated from like the waist up when you're on your Zoom calls, girl. And then when you put on a heel with it, you're ready for happy hour. You're ready for date night. It, 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 it's, it's just, it is a wonderful two-piece set. And again, I love the fact that you can wear the pieces together or separately. And the next piece is something that I have to admit with y'all, I am not too impressed with. Um, I got this sweater from And Other Stories after I did the Affordable Brands video. And I asked y'all, I said, what's a brand that I am forgetting? And a lot of y'all said And Other Stories. And I said, oh yeah, also owned by H&M. Here's your tea about them though. I'm just, I gotta be honest. Um, they uh, tend, I believe, to focus a lot on creating a mood, a vibe, an aesthetic, more so than the quality. So it's almost like uh, the budget is bigger <laughs> for making you feel like they are something that they are not, like this kind of ethereal, kind of cool girl vibe. And, um... I fell for a girl. I drank the Kool-Aid and I said, okay, let me just jump out here and get me a little piece. And this piece was 30% off, but still over $100. I have worn it twice. The first time just for a few hours. And girl, it, the fabric has completely peeled. Like it's all these little balls on the sweater. Um, also, the black has started to kind of bleed on the white. I feel like it can be salvaged, but I should not have to do any work on an item that I just got that is brand new in my wardrobe. So why am I using a sweater shaver? Why am I using a damn lint brush? Like I feel like I'm going, going to surgery on the sweater. Um, and at over $100, girl, I could have went to Fashion Nova. That, that's not what I anticipated. Uh, but nevertheless, she's here now. 
I want her. I'm not going to send her back or fight with customer service about the quality. Um, so we're just going to do a little bit of a repair. I do think it looks really good with jeans. It looks great with just kind of like black high-waisted pants and the loafers that I have. Another really good piece for working from home. You know, you're going to hit them with the heat from waist up on your Zoom calls, girl. You can't go wrong with like this black and white color combo gonna match so many things in your wardrobe even if you wanted to put some color with it I think could be really really cute so um yeah I, I, I can't say I regret purchasing it I will link it down below I just want y'all to keep the quality in mind and last but not least for this season's haul girl are these black and white high very high waisted jeans from Nasty Gal uh, now, while the last sweater may not have been the best purchase of the haul, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for these because, girl, these pants were $30, okay? And when I tell you they are a moment, girl, they are a moment. So obsessed. So completely obsessed. I wore these to my meet and greet that was at a local boutique. Shout out to Brown Booty beauty co-op um and i just wore them with a black tank cape the moto jacket over my shoulders the pants the pants are gonna do what needs to be done okay as you can say, see they are color blocked but then the color on the front is reversed it's gonna reverse in the back they are wide leg. I think these would be even cute with like a pair of Chelsea boots. I'm wearing them with a pair of booties. Just trying to take them into fall. Um, sandals. Ooh. You know how I feel about that like Kelly green right now. A nice Kelly green sweater. And then the black and white. And then a pair of just like black Chelsea boots. Girl. These jeans if they are available y'all need y'all 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 need i mean i see these being worn so easily for new year's um on christmas day girl you just want to have a really cute family photo in front of the tree and really let the girls know that while you may be a mom you are still a fly and stylish mom girl you Mackenzie, and bay are standing in front of the christmas tree with these on you give them a little sparkly a little sparkly earring yeah thirty dollars you you yeah nasty gal y'all did that with these and uh i am very excited to have these in my collection girl i lied when i said that that was the last piece the last piece for real for real are the jeans that i am wearing today from mango um i have really been into like expanding the denim that i have i shared with y'all the girls were saying skinny jeans are dead y'all told me they're not dead i I just said, well, let's just expand the options that we have. And so I've held myself to my own advice. And aside from the color block black and white jeans, I also got this high-waisted wide leg jean with a raw hem from Mango. Loving it. Uh, and I feel like initially I wanted them to be longer, but actually worn with the low way loafers and other loafers that I have in my wardrobe, I just feel like this kind of ankle length but to a wide leg works. If you are shorter, of course, they'll be longer on you and that's a look and a vibe as well. Um, but I just love the way they feel. I think Mango does really great denim and they do it at a more affordable price point. Mango actually is a brand to keep in mind that I should have included in my affordable brands video. But anyway, um, these were I think $49.99. Shipping was pretty quick and I am in love with them. I think outside of wearing them with the loafers, again, I'll wear them with a Chelsea boot. And they also look really good with my sneakers, with my Jordans too. So we got options. Alright girl, so that is it for my fall haul and I actually as I was sitting here filming this video I realized that I just wore this top like two three videos ago The only reason I'm gonna call that out is because I realized for content creators That's actually not very typical, but you you, you know, here's the thing sis. Uh, I wear my clothes <laughs> I wear my clothes. I wear my clothes and then oh number three I wear my clothes Okay, and so I don't want to encourage you all to do something that I'm not doing, which is to shop with intention to curate a closet that you love. And so if that means that I'm getting on here showing you the same top, the same outfit multiple times, then 
people charge at things and games is that just is what it is and so i thank y'all for being part of the tribe for watching today's video everything that i mentioned will be linked down below as well as size inclusive options if i can find them make sure you will follow me over on instagram for daily style inspiration and i will see y'all across the internet peace